hello everyone welcome to my video on a 2019 programming and today we're going to look at part 2 of excel operations now I have a excel sheet already open with me and I have the excel advanced command list open with me uh, let's see the actions one by one so let's start with something simple like a, a read cell formula so we start by opening our excel file which is in this folder desktop file paste the path over here specific sheet name let's see the sheet sample sheet we are going to use read only mode and we don't need to do any of these once done we are going to read cell formula from specific cell let's say b5 and assign the output to variable prompt string and after that we are going to do a message box of prompt assignment now let's go to b5 and let's put a message uh, let's put a formula over here now if I run this code it gives the formula 1 plus 2 plus 3 along with the equal sign uh, let's try a different formula run the code and it works fine okay let's try to okay let's try something from get list uh, for example get worksheet names I'll just uh, delete these two the default is the default session that we have used for this excel so it's going to look at this excel and get all the sheet names and assign to this variable type list now list is a collection of variables of subtype string in this case we're just going to name the variable lst sheet list it's basically an index based collection of variables of type string now once we have the list over here what we can do is we can loop for each item in the list our list is LST sheet list all items in the list assign the current value to prompt assignment and then message box prompt assignment now for the sake of understanding let's create some sheets over here and save the file close the file run the bot and the message box starts prompting each of the different different sheet names done close the file close this so that's how we do get worksheet names from the excel file coming back to our excel commands let's try set cell formula so we have already tried get cell formula let's try set cell formula now we have set cell and set cell formula let's try to see the difference between these two delete this to a set cell of the active cell to cell value 1 plus 2 plus 3 save it and run the code and it 
it sets the value of the cell to 1 plus 2 plus 3. It's not exactly calculating anything. Don't save. Close this. Now we disable this and we put set cell formula. In the active cell again we put 1 plus 2 plus 3. Active cell. Okay. Run this thing. And even now it sets the contents of the text, not exactly as a formula. Let's see if we need to precede that text with a equal sign. Let's run this. And now it sets a formula. Let's see if we can do the same thing using set cell value by preceding the text with an equal sign. It's a bit interesting. It seems to be no difference between the two commands in that case. Or maybe I'm missing something I need to clarify. Yep. So set cell value and set cell formula, they are basically seems to be doing the same thing in this case. But uh, we'll dig deep later on this one. Let me delete both the actions. Let's try to hide a worksheet. And let's put the name sample sheet. Run the code. And you can see all the sheets are visible except sample sheet which is hidden. If I click on unhide I can see sample sheets as one of the hidden sheets. Now let's uh, save this. Okay so we have uh, hidden the sheet but we also need to save the file. But the file was open in read-only mode. We changed this to read-write mode, hide the sheet and then Excel advanced close. We close the file and save the changes. Now let's run the code. It hides the sheet, closes the file and saves the changes. So if I open the file now, sample sheet is hidden. Now let's try to bring it back. So this time what you're going to do is we disable this hide statement and we will search for unhide. Unhide all worksheets and then again close the file and save the changes. Or maybe we don't close the file this time. Keep it open. Run the code. And the sample sheet is <coughs> visible again. Okay, so let's keep the file open. Let's try something else. Let me just delete all these things. Okay, let's try convert Excel to PDF, delete cells cell color get cell color okay let's see if what this does okay so we have an option of selecting background color or text color and we specify the cell name so let's go back to our cell b5 and set the color as yellow and let's go to d5 and set it to green come back to our code and we assign it to prompt assignment 
specific cell we mention B5 put a message box for prompt assignment we just copy both the statements select the message box again paste it below that here we mentioned D5 and same prompt assignment that is getting message box over here now let's run the code and check I hope the file is saved okay so this gives the RGB value of the two colors uh, the first one is uh, yellow and the next one is green okay so let's see what else do we have over here let's do a protect workbook once again we delete these things we open the workbook in read write mode and we protect the workbook now protect workbook with password so the password test one two three So we have the choice of putting this password as a variable, as an insecure string, or as a credential token. We'll discuss credential token in future videos. So right now I have passed an insecure string of 123. Now let's see if it works. And I'll not save the file, I'll just keep the file open. Run the code. okay so now if I close it and save it and open it again okay so it's asking for a password and my password is test123 okay and it works fine perfect okay so this is how protect workbook is working let me just remove this There are so many commands over here. You can just go through the commands one by one. Try it yourself. And if you face any issues, just drop me a note in the comment section and I'll post a video for that. Okay, let's say we want to copy data from one document to another document. So we already have our sample.xlsx open here. Uh, we'll just uh, delete the sample sheet. And okay, let's try from one sheet to another sheet first. So we have sheet one and sheet two over here. In sheet one, I'll just uh, type some values and save the file now coming back to our code and just open this file Sh name is sheet 1 it's in read-only mode uh, no we're actually writing on the same document so it open in read write mode and so we're simply doing a copy paste without using a data table so let's try to select a range let's see the select action somewhere so, okay yeah so select cell range and mention a1 to c3 let's see if the range is correct we start from a1 and go all the way to c3 so that's our range so we select that range so that gets selected now let's try to put a keystroke simulate keystrokes choose the application which is in this case sample.xlsx and enter the keystroke or let's you can use the on-screen keyboard and press control and So so that's the keystroke we're using, control C to copy the data that we just selected using selected range and that's fine. Okay, so now we go to the second sheet and we have to paste the data. So let's go back to our Excel commands.
we have something called switch to sheet over here so we switch to the sheet 2 and we go to cell let's say uh, F10 and we just paste the data using control V let's see if that works save it and I'll just I'll not close the file I'll just keep the file open for verification so I'll just save this data close the file and run the bot oops I completely forgot I protected the sheet uh, let me just enter a password one two three let's see if it still works yep Cop copy the data and paste it to F10 perfect so from sheet 1 the data was copied and in sheet 2 data was pasted it worked perfectly fine I'll not save it so with this in this video we looked at some more Excel operations uh, in the next video we are going to look at uh, PDF operations, CSV and text operations.